Myanmar military convoy hit by roadside bomb near Yangon. The military and media said that anti-junta dissidents in Myanmar carried out a bomb attack on security personnel in Yangon, with several people dead in the ensuing gunfire. Since the military deposed Aung San Suu Kyi's elected administration in February, the neighboring country has been in upheaval, spawning large pro-democracy protests and a brutal military crackdown. Although the majority of conflicts have been recorded in rural regions, many townships around Myanmar have created so-called People Defense Forces to fight back against the junta. The junta stated in a statement on Saturday that security troops were targeted with a homemade device while traveling through Kayan, a neighborhood of Myanmar's commercial capital Yangon, on Friday. Both groups fired back and forth, entering a member of the security forces, according to the statement, which also stated that rifles and ammunition were collected as a result of the clash. A few terrorists were killed, and one was injured. At least two dissidents were killed, according to local media, and one was captured. A national unity government made up primarily of MPs from Suu Kyi's deposed party called for a people's defensive war and urged citizens to attack junta assets earlier this month. Throughout Myanmar, communications towers belonging to the military-owned Midal firm have been targeted. Locals in the Zagan and Migwe regions have accused the military of burning down homes and displacing thousands of people this week. Because of the local resistance forces, the military has been hammering our territory, a 25-year-old woman from Migwe's Ganga township told AFP. I had to say goodbye to a few of my pals. I'm heartbroken since I have observed all of their atrocities. Another Ganga Township resident reported that scores of homes have been burned in one of the township's hardest hit villages, Nungkar, since September 10, a start stop process throughout the previous week as monsoon showers kept dousing the flames. They attempted to set fire to the entire village. It was, however, rainy season. The 4,000 residents of Nungkar have fled to a nearby forest, according to the local. They are terrified of the army because they could return to the village at any time, he explained. Nimkar locals were seen carrying buckets of water as smoke rose in the distance and the remains of burned foundations smoldered, according to images obtained by AFP. A request for comment from the junta has yet to be answered.